Marco Kauf? Aye. Pa, go ahead, work together, get these mounds planted. Aloha, my name is Sao Vaifaga, part of Ahuo Nakiai Nona Keikyo Kaena. My name is um, Kiko Anthony and um, I was born and raised in uh, Narcohala. My name is Braxton John Rocha and uh, just been good friends with all of the brothers in Ahuo for pretty much my whole life. I'm Mahi Vaifaga. I've been a part of Ahuo for two years now. Um, we first started as a group of guys just looking for something to do, really. Just a group of local guys just sitting around in a garage, um, having an idea, wanting to do something better than what we were already involved in. Uh, a bunch of uh, friends got together and had an idea to restore an uh, old Loi patch. And uh, we've been working on that for about two years now. It's crazy because in the beginning, I mean, it was just a, it was a forest. It was the densest, nicest forest. I mean, you go in there and there'd be no light in there. I mean, it just be dark. We came in here and uh, dug it all out by hand and uh, we used uh, come alongs, picks, shovels, and a bunch of uh, strong arms. When schools and children wanted to come, we just opened this land to them. We didn't want to refuse them. And in our first year, we were blessed to come into contact with thousand children. We're trying to provide more culture for these children. So if we can provide a hale for them or a lo'i, that's more than we had culturally growing up. We teach them how to be nice to one another, how to, how to kalo grows, how to pick kalo, and how to work together, La Lima. I teach them what the Hawaiians would use the kalo for and what the kalo means to us. I mean, it's, it's one of our ancestors, you know? Like growing the taro, being around taro, being around Hawaiian culture. I never thought I would be a teacher in this way, but it's a good experience. We've been blessed with such a great opportunity to Malama Aina and restore Lo'i Kalo. The things that we're doing up here at Iola is there wasn't anything like that while growing up. You know, there wasn't no Lo'i's or anything that you just go and immerse yourself in. So that's why I love doing the work up here. If we have a bright light, it's our, it's our kuleana to take care of this light and, and to shine a bright light forward. I want to shine the brightest light that I can for myself, for these children. We want the positivity here to, to bleed out into other areas of the community. So it's not just about taro, it's about all the power that it has to do good things. Where else can we malama? Not only outside, where else can we malama? Everywhere. Everywhere. Your house, your school, each other. We can malama everywhere. So not only on the land do we malama. Mapupo?